So in this video, I will show you how you can create video timelines if you want to create videos for TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. When we have normal clips like for YouTube or in cinema, this is all horizontal. But if you want to create videos for TikTok and Instagram and all this other stuff, it is vertical. So we have to change the aspect ratio. So for example, if I bring now a video in that I shot on my iPhone that is vertical, it will look like this. We will get all of those black bars here and we don't, want, we don't want that because if we now render the footage, we will also create a video that has those black bars in it and we don't want that. So what can you do? There's a couple of ways you can do this. So let's say you're already working in a project and you realize, oh, I have to change it. What can you do? So go to the timeline and right click on the timeline and then go to timeline settings. And here on the timeline settings, we can now say, no, we don't want to use our project settings. We want to change that. I prepared a cheat sheet for you. Here you find the most common resolutions that we have. And the most important for you, we have 2K and 4K. So for example, all the Blu-rays in the past, they had full HD. That was considered 2K. That's 1920 by 1080. And for Instagram Reels, for TikTok and YouTube Shorts, you can still use 1920 by 1080. But the most important thing is now, instead of horizontal, we want to do them vertical. And to get your video and your timeline vertical, you have to flip those numbers. So instead of 1920 by 1080, you have to type in 1080 by 1920. This is the reason why I gave you this cheat sheet. If you ever want to create one of the other aspect ratios, just use those numbers and flip them. Here now we can say, okay, we want to have a timeline that is 1080 by 1920 and say, okay. And now you see that the black bars are gone. And if we go now back to the other video that was horizontal before, you see now that DaVinci Resolve automatically shrinked it in so it fits the screen. Now we have the black bars here. If you don't want that, you can just go in here and change the zoom and bring this in as you like. The second way you can do this is before you even start working on your timeline. You could go in here in the project settings and here in the project settings, instead of having a 1920 by 1080, do exactly the same. Change your resolution here now to 1080 to 1920. And then we say save. Whatever videos we are loading in right now, boom, we will have this aspect ratio. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong, and we we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.